What's up guys, this is Matt, and I'm bringing you part two of Cart Life. So we're going to be picking up where we left off, press continue on Andrew's Poder, and we left off last time right at the end of the day. Um, actually, sorry, first thing in the morning after the sleep. So let's first check Mr. Glim Glimbowski needs to eat, so press this to feed the cat. And, um, well, uh, there's that cough again, so I probably need to smoke. So let's hit equipment. And cigarette. Wow. Yeah, it's not very pleasant, is it? Okay. Let's, uh, head out for the day. It's, what time is it? 7.30. We need to get to our newspaper stand. People like their newspapers early. And let's see if we can make some money, finally. Um, let's travel to Georgetown, and we'll pay 75 cents for the bus. Whatever. Hopefully we'll make that back. I think we can uh, set the price of the newspaper ourselves. So. Alright, cool. Look, there's some newspapers. I would, but I'm starving. Oh, goodness. And I didn't buy any food last night, did I? Because I was running out of time, and I probably cannot eat the, uh, the cat food. So what do we have here? Cold beer in this place. Oh, not open till 2. Nothing's in this building. Oh, man, we're just wasting time. Look at all these potential customers just walking by. All right, we need to find some food first because Andrus is not going to do any work until we do. Let's just travel over. Oh, man. All right, let's pay the fare. I don't want to waste too much of the day. Anybody doing the math? I think we have to be about $20. Oh, no, I only spent $1.50. Wonder what I will be eating of today. Well, we're going to figure that out soon, Andrus. Where are we? Inventory... What were we look? What was I looking at? Gondola bars, right? That's what I was looking at. Let's buy it. Let's buy one of those. Let's buy two of those. Now we got to be running low on money, but at least we'll have something to eat. Equipment. Where are the gondola bars? Here we go. Eat one. Yes. That helped. Not very much. Oh, probably because we were so starving. But whatever. We need to get back to Georgetown to 5th and Franklin so that we can at noon finally start selling newspapers oh my goodness well hopefully tomorrow will be better on time we will be because now we have food to eat in the morning these bars will last us and by this time tomorrow we will be selling newspapers I would but I'm st I just fed you wow he's needy that's why you have no money buddy all right eat another item How's that feel? All right. Got 20 Georgetonian newspapers. Cool. Okay, what is this? Oh, we have to put the newspapers away. Cut the banding. Okay, so this is interesting. When you do work in this game, you have to type. And when you screw up typing, you lose items. So, for instance, when we're sorting the newspapers, if I mistype a word, he is going to accidentally rip a newspaper, and that's one less newspaper that we can sell. So right now we're going to do cut the banding. Cut off ties. All right, let's fold the papers. Folding newspapers. Oh, we got to do it again. Fold. Leave a nice crease. Oh, I forgot the period. See? All right, I tore a newspaper. Leave a nice crease. Folds in two halves. Leave a nice crease. All right, let's stock the bins. Keep them organized. I spelled that wrong too, didn't I? There we go. I can't really talk during this. I'm going to screw everything up. Easy to reach now. Oh, what did I screw up that time? They will be easy to reach now. Q. 
keep them organized. There we go, we're ready to open. Can't really talk during that, that was rough. And you see, it just makes you, all right, hereupon I begin the new life which I choose to live. May fortune bring me good luck and may the customers I serve be many. Oh, that's a nice pledge. All right. Yeah, that was, um, I guess it was very monotonous. They just kept making you type the same thing over and I guess a job like that, you're just doing the same thing over and over. Hey, somebody's gonna buy us, hey, dark hair, that's his name. Hello there, men. Oh, there's a couple guys, the short one. Yes, hello. Hi there. Yes, hello. All right. I guess let's just talk to them, exchange names. It's nice to be meeting you. I am the newsstand owner, Ar Andrus. We are known as the three. Okay. Philip, Michael, and I'm Steve. Oh, that's easy enough. Yes, good, okay. Let's just begin the sale. What can I be getting for you? It's gonna be tough because there's three of them. I'm afraid I'm buying today. You sure are. Um, three Georgetonians, gentlemen, question mark. <laughs> it didn't sound like a question when I was reading it. Uh, sounds good to me. All right, so they're all buying newspapers. That's easy enough. Make it three Georgetonians. I will be getting of them now. So what do I do for this? Probably more typing. Here's one. Wait, I have a question. Yes. Is it still 40 cents if I don't buy anything else? Uh, yeah, that is being right. I didn't even set any prices. I guess 40 cents is the, um, oh goodness, what is this? 40, oh, I'm gonna have to make change? I'm horrible at math. Oh my goodness, what did he order? George Tonian, hey, enter. Uh, $19.60. Oh my goodness. The faster you do that, oh, that's my new best time. Good job. Oh, we gotta do another one. Come on. What do you get? George Tony and D. I did it fast. Uh, 960. Woo! All right, that's gonna be easy because it's all 40 cents. If they give me change, I'm gonna be screwed. Um, C for George Tony and 540 is gonna be 460. Boom! All right, I got a $5 tip. All right, that's nice. Better than 40 cents. Please have a good day, okay? That was cool. Oh, I'm coughing all over this poor lady. I think it's a lady. Yeah. Receptionist. Hi there. Yes. Hello. Uh, yeah, let's talk to her. Hello. I am Andrus. I don't know of your name yet. Hi there. I am Meadow. Thanks for asking. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, Meadow. Yes. Good. Okay. See, I really don't care. I mean, I care. Andrus doesn't care. I'm a nice guy. All right. Let's begin the sale. So, you're the gentleman who's responsible for this newsstand now. Uh, yeah, that, that is being yes. Great. I just wanted to go over the contract terms. Oh, she's not even buying anything. In case Tim didn't mention it. Yes, good, okay. It's pretty simple. Just stop over at the office every Friday to bring your account up to date. You could also just stop by if you have any questions. We're located in the Florin District. Yes, good, okay, I'm not gonna remember that. Well, I'm on my lunch break, so I'm gonna run. I wish I could afford to eat. All right, come on, you're not buying anything. You're holding up customers. This guy looks familiar, who is this? He's the desk clerk. He's the jerk that rents me the room, okay. I buy the Georgetonian, okay? Yes, good, okay. Um, it's not really 40 cents, it, that's cheap, dude. Yes, that is being right. If you say so, then great. Oh, okay. Let's start. What did he ask for? Georgetonian. Oh, uh, nothing. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> I, I, oh, and he gave me a tip. That was fast, that was cool. That was very nice of him. I'm just gonna pay it back to him at the end of the week anyway, that's probably what he's thinking. Can I smoke while I'm in here? Because I'm just going to keep coughing and that's getting annoying. Oh, cool. Smoke. Perfect. Surgeon General's warning. Smoking can cause lung cancer. And here's a nice little animation to show you. Oh, here we go. This guy going to buy a newspaper? Yes, he is. What's up, man? 
Yes, hello. Let's uh, exchange names. I'm Andrus Poter. Don't give him your last name. It is nice to be meeting you. Oh, okay. I'm Troy, by the way. Yes, good, okay. Let's uh, begin the sale here. George George Tonian, please. Sure, I can do that. Yes, good, okay. Wait, I have a question. Yes? Is it still 40 cents if I don't buy anything else? Yes. There's nothing else to buy. Um... Okay, what are we buying? A D, George Tonian, uh, $19.60 change. Perfect. Wow, that was fast. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, come back soon, okay? Look at this nice girl waiting for a paper. Hello. Yes, hello. La, uh, I don't feel like talking to her. Whatever. It is nice to be meeting you. I am the newsstand owner, Andrus. Oh, hi. I'm Stephanie. I'm actually on shift right now. This is my lunch break. Yes, good, okay. All right, so let's just sell you something quick then. I've been looking for a Georgetonian. Perfect, because I sell Georgetonians. Uh, it's not really 40 cents. Is it? Yes, it is. Why, is that cheap? Maybe I should up the price. Everyone seems... Uh, uh, I screwed up. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. That was fast. Thank you. But you didn't leave me a tip, so it must not have been that fast. We got some guys waiting in line here. Oh, it's a police officer. Excuse me, Mr. Vendor. Yes, hello. I'm just going to sell him some. I'm going to talk to this guy. I see you're offering Georgetonians for sale here. Yes, and good. I'll take this Georgetonian, please. Okay, I thought he was going to, like, bust me. Just a second. Yes. I think there's a mistake on your menu. It says your Georgetonian is 40 cents. Yes, that is being right. Okay. Okay, so... Really, this is too cheap, is what everyone's telling me. So, after this next customer, I need to bump the price up. Maybe we'll just go up to like 50 cents. Oh, now you're going to look at the permit. He didn't care before he bought the newspaper, because then he wouldn't be able to get a newspaper. I need to verify your vendor's permit is whatever, or sorry, in order to allow you to sell here. Yeah, whatever. Permit? Yes, you need a permit to operate the stand. Uh, sure. I think I bought it from Timothy, right? Here it is. Cool. Hmm. Thank you. Sorry to bother you, sir. Good luck with your business. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Get out of here. You're holding up my stand, bucko. Howdy. Yes, hello. I'm just going to sell you something quick. Cup of coffee. I don't sell coffee. Oh. I am not selling of coffee here today. No coffee, huh? Guess I'll have to go somewhere else. Thank you, sir. Yeah, okay. So he wasn't happy, but whatever. Troy's back. What's up, man? Yes, hello. How about a cup of coffee? Why does everybody want coffee? It's like four in the afternoon. Really, you don't have coffee? No, not today. Hmm, all right. All right, maybe I have to go buy coffee. How do I upgrade the equipment? Items for sale, Georgetonian. Oh, here we go. Can we go to like 50 cents? There we go. So what do I get? Cost per, I make 25 cent profit on each one. That's fine. I've only made $2 today. Okay. Well, we still got some time left in the day. It's not too late. Um, I'm not starving. So let's just uh, keep trucking along then. Here we got a customer, the desk clerk. I'll buy the Georgetonian. He already bought one today. This guy is weird. Um, 8.50 is 7.50 change. Yeah, that was fast, because that's my job, dude. I really do hate math. Howdy! Yes, hello. Let's make small talk. I don't know his name. I am Andrus. I don't know of your name yet. Howdy! I'm Dick. Nice to meet you, Dick. Yes, good, okay. Alright, let's begin a sale. Cup of coffee? Come on! Alright, I'm. maybe I could buy a coffee machine or something. And I could sell coffee at my stand. All right, guess I'll have to go somewhere else. Yeah, you will, because this is a newspaper stand. Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's not happy with that, but whatever. I don't care. All right, I'm just waiting, waiting for some customers. All right, Meadow, hi there. Yes, hello. Let's just buy, let's sell stuff. 
Is there a Georgetonian? There's plenty left. You can have them all if you'd like. A Georgetonian, five. Oh, I've screwed up the buttons. All right, whatever. She got the right change. I see the police officer back too, but who's under him? Customer, what's up? That's how you start a conversation with strangers? Hello, I am Andrus. I don't know of your name yet. Cool, I'm Tony. What's up, Tony? I run Catacombs Restaurant on 6th Avenue. Oh, so, okay, so we know where a restaurant is now. 6th Avenue. And we'll talk to Tony. I'll take... Oh, shoot. I forgot my damn wallet. Come on, Tony. Yeah, sure you will. Sure you'll be right back. Oh, he's a vendor, too. Yes, hello. Let's just sell him something. I've been looking for a George Tony, and yes, good, I have George Tonians. Uh, D, 450. That was pretty quick. That was my best time yet. Good job. And I got a $5 tip. Not making much on the newspapers, but I'm actually getting a couple tips today. That's only $15 in tips. All right, who do we got next? Customer, what's up, dude? Yes, hello. Hello, I am Andrus. I don't know of your name yet. Cool. My name, by the way, is Kiam? Kiam? I don't even know how to say his name. Give me one of those George Georgetonians, please. Yes, good, okay. We'll start. Uh, C for George Georgetonian, $5.50. Wow, that was fast, I know. Wow, we got a nice line here. Excuse me, vendor. Yes, hello. I'll be needing a copy of the Georgetonian. Cool. We got a couple people just buying a couple Georgetonians today. Answer the bonus question correctly for $10. Cool. Orson Welles' acclaimed movie Citizen Kane is thought to be a portrayal of this man. Oh my goodness, Miles is going to kill me when he watches this video. Um, I have no idea. William Randolph Hearst. Oh! Oh! Oh, that was a lucky guess. Yes, hello. Who's this guy? Food first, then small. So I'm like starving now because I, like, two of my options are gone. Oh, I can ask questions. I didn't even look at that. Let's just sell. All right, so I can't even talk to people anymore. Let's just sell stuff. Because I got a line now. I can't even, like, take a break. That was fast. Yeah, good. I probably gave him too much change back. Hey, Dick's back. Hello. Hello. What do you want to buy? A cup of coffee. Didn't Dick ask for coffee before? Get out of here. Leave my stand. Who's this? Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Yes. Hello. Cool, she wants a newspaper. I got newspapers. Oh, I got a dollar seventy-five cent tip. Awesome. Not quite five dollars, she's a cheapskate, but whatever. Customer, hello. Yes, hello. You must be new. This stand hasn't been open for a long time. Yes, that's correct. That's great. This is right along my walk to work every day. Oh, okay. Yes, hello. <laughs> Why did I say hello again? I'll take one Georgetonian, please. Sure. Start. Oh, uh, B. Whoops. $9.50. That was fast. He was impressed. You saw that? That was fast. Okay. Man, I got a long line. Who's this? What's up, Troy? Want to buy something? Copy of the Georgetonian. That's perfect. I don't know what's with all these fancy pants trying to buy. Oh, my goodness. Why am I talking? There we go. All these fancy pants people trying to buy coffee. Yeah, come back soon. I need a cigarette now. You see me coughing all over the place. Tony, what's up? Yes, hello. You bring your wallet this time, Tony? I'll take. Of course not. So what did you do? You ran all the way home to get your wallet and then came back without it. Come on, man. Uh, what time? I can't even. I need to take a break here. I need to see what time it is. I'll have a George Tony in. I mean, I need to take a break, but it's stupid because I. Oh, it's not F. It's D. My finger's in the wrong spot. You know what I mean? Like I need to take a break, but at the same time, I also need the money. So 
there's a dilemma of the working world. Because I could just say goodbye and, and Dick wants coffee again. Get out of here, Dick. I'm just going to skip through all of it. Yep, just leave. Okay, pause, pause, pause. Okay, what time is it? Four, oh, we haven't been there that long. Let's eat a little bit. Yes, I'm eating a snack. Let's eat a little bit more. We need another one of these bars, gondola bars. And let's have a cigarette. Because that's what Mr. Poter does. I feel like I'm never running out of cigarettes. Or did I have another pack before and I'm just going through those? Alright, we'll just wait. Looks like we got some regulars coming back. Cool. Stephanie's first. Hello. Yes, hello. Um, I'll have a Georgetonian. Yes, good, okay. I don't know why these people need so many newspapers in one day. I have no copy. I sold out. All right, I'm just going to say bye to this guy. I'm not even going to talk to him. Perfect. Let's get out of here. I need to sleep anyway. I'm going to uh, head back to the Mr. Glombowski. Well, he doesn't need to quite eat yet, but... I need to be sleeping, so let's head back to the hotel. And we can actually afford to travel here now. I don't, it doesn't feel as bad to spend that 75 cents on the bus. So we'll head back on to the apartment. Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Breezy's Motel. Weekly, monthly rates. Cool. Let's get back. What does that say? Don't become what you hate. I guess that's what that says. It's a good message. All right. Mr. Glombowski? Mr. Glombowski? How did you escape? Oh, you gotta be kidding. I need to go to bed. The cat's not even here. And now I need a cigarette. Oh. He could be going anywhere. He is being very old for exploring the world. Can he be safe? I don't know. He's your cat. Alright, I need a cigarette. Again. Oh, here we go, 13. I was looking up here, 15 per pack. I thought that was going to go down. Okay, I got 13 left. What? You're the one that's coughing all over the place. Oh, look at this poor man. He He's worried about that cat. All right, I guess I can't go out of the map that way. Where can I go to find this cat? Oh, who's this? Hello. Talk to me. I guess not. Um, there's no way I'm going in the office. I'm not even supposed to have the cat. Uh, I wasn't even trying to leave the map. I was trying to head the other way. All right, let's, um, I guess I, maybe, maybe we'll be able to go. We probably can't even go to sleep. I need to sleep. Who's this? Nothing back here. No, I'm not trying to check back there. I'm trying to talk to Lady. Oh my goodness. Maybe I can't talk to her. Oh, there we go. Alright, woman. Oh, you A3, right? Yes. Yes, A3 is me. i so sorry, sir. I should have say something. Today I hear Kitty crying in room 3A. Or A3, whatever. But I think it my kitty, Lulu. When I open door, big gray kitty run outside. I'm very sorry. Oh, she's crying. Don't cry. I'll give her a hug. Since that's an option. I don't even know who this lady is. How'd she have a key to my room? Mr. Mr. Glimbof Glim oh my goodness. Mr. Glimbofsky is good boy. Oh, okay. She's like, I hope he comes home soon. This is very sad. I'm 
Andrus. What's your name? My name Suchin Lee. But you call me Susie. Okay, that's a lot easier. Su Chin. I'll help find Kitty, but I scared about George. George? Yes. My husband. He run the hotel. Oh, so he's desk clerk or whatever that guy's name was. He'd kick you out if you know you have Kitty here. Ah, Mr. Glombowski! You came out of nowhere! He's so cute. Look at him. His eyes are like different colors and everything. All right. Come here, Kitty. Oh, look how happy he looks. Oh, Murugro, is it? <laughs> Why'd he run away from room? I was worried for you. Oh, yeah. It's because you opened the door. So he bit you. No, he's not a bad kitty. Oh, crap. Here comes George. Su Chin, what going on? Your water boil over on stove. Hurry on and get inside the room. Okay, yeah, I'm out of here. I don't want him to find my cat. Go on now. Yes, good, okay. Oh, cool, it just put me in the room. All right. Um, I'm not even gonna bother with anything until I sleep. It's 7.41, let's go to sleep now. That way, by the time we, it'll be earlier when we wake up tomorrow, and we'll be able to get a, an earlier start on selling newspapers. This is going to work out good. All right. All right, what do we got? We got some more money now. Look at this. We got current balance $116, although I think that's what we need for rent. Okay, so we made, we'll make rent at the end of the week, but there was something we needed to pay before that, wasn't there? can't think of it right now but all right so we, we made some money expenses income it's all these georgetonians that we sold 35 dollars income that's not bad not bad for one day of selling newspapers how do i there we go uh we'll close this and andrus will get into bed and possibly off to dreamland again yep Alright, so we're kind of sleepwalking again here. Who is this? There's a bum in my dream. Carolina. Hey there, bus driver. Carolina? Oh, I guess I know her. Why are you out here in the street? Don't worry, sugar. I'm not cold. Carolina. I tell you I miss you, but... I mean... I tell you that we miss you, but you know I couldn't mean it. Saying something like that wouldn't matter, and I don't want you to be sad. Sad? But I do wonder, do you still miss me? Do you miss being with me? Uh, no. I've begun to move on. Ha! Just like you told me to. I don't need comforting now. I don't feel any better when you say that. Oh. I, I sure told her in my dream, huh? All those bad dreams. Check the time. 5.17. I don't want to go back to sleep, though. Why? Okay. See, it just drags me. I don't have to. I don't know how much sleep I need right now, though. Um... No, let's just get out of bed. And we're going to save the game. We're going to end this day here. I want to thank you guys for watching um, Cart Life Part 2. This was day two. Um, we're going to be playing for a week, so I'm going to assume this might be broken up into about seven videos. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions or anything, if you're liking the video, let me know. Leave me a comment. Send me a message. Do whatever you want. Don't forget to check out the Twitter and the Facebook for I You Got Me. The links are down in the description. Um, just in case you want earlier notice if a video is coming out, I normally I'll go on there and write a couple hours before I upload a video, usually while a video is rendering or something, so you'll have some some prior knowledge and you'll know when to expect a new video. Um, but other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching and until next time.